Now it's onto our key rings. We have the big headed one or the little headed one. That would have been your choice. So I like this one. So I'm going to start and demonstrate this one for you guys. Nice and simple. We're going to take the big headed one. You'll have different sets of paint or you have the same set of paint, but we'll have paint here. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to prepare our hanging area first. You guys can see with each keyring, they come with a little loop. So let's prep the hanging space. Take your box that you received with your kit. We're going to open it back up. As we open it up, you're going to have empty space inside. This box, as beautiful it is, as it is, is quite functional. So let's take your paintbrush. We're going to lay it across the top. And that's going to be your hanging area for the rest of the session. So let's move this aside. As you guys can see, we're going to leave that at the front to the side. This is going to be your hang rack. And what we're going to do is we're going to prepare the key ring to get painted. You would have received a little shot glass. No vodka. Just make sure you use your paint. So again, step by step, we're going to layer it. As you guys can see here, layer, layer, layer one, layer two. Hot tip, if you went for any dark color like a black, do not use a lot of it because it will absorb the colors. So, a little bit of the black as you guys can see, not a lot, just a little bit. And we're going to re-layer with the next layer. So layering on, layering on, layering on, layering on. Beautiful. So we have some super funky colors here. And you guys can see here, all layered, ready to go. And now to do your keyring, simply grab it by that little knob at the very top of its head. And we are going to start the pour. We're going to pour from the head as usual. Okay. As you guys can see here, we're going to start to pour like so. Try to do a one pour. Focus. Beautiful. You've got yourself a little funky key ring. Funky, funky. And then we're going to make sure we do the back as well. So once again, grabbing it by the little knob. Going to go over to the back. Pouring, pouring, pouring. And there we have it. A funky looking keyring. How's that? Beautiful. Look at that. All right, now to dry. How do we dry it? Super simple. We bring back our fancy contraption. As you guys can see here, there's a little loop here. Here's the hack. We're going to bring it down. First, you get under the paintbrush, grab the paintbrush, slide it into the keyring, bring it to the top like so. Can you see how it's hanging? Super easy. And then all you need to do, let it sit. Ta-da! And just like that, you leave that for about a day or two, it will dry and you'll be able to use it. Perfect. So now that you're finished, leave your projects to the side so they can dry, make sure it's in a safe place so no kids, no dogs, no animals can touch it and steal it or break it or knock it over and then you're gonna have paint all over the floors. We don't want that. And make sure you clean up. It is your own house after all and we don't wanna leave a mess unlike our beautiful space here at the Floor Project. So we are going to clean everything up using your disposable tablecloth. Just going to simply wrap it all up, gloves off, gloves off, make sure you wrap it all up and take out the trash. Now that you guys are completed, I hope you guys have enjoyed your tutorial. I hope you have really enjoyed making your own unique fluid project piece of work and just remember, it's just as unique as you are. So make sure you share it with us on social media and tag at The Fluid Project. We'll be so excited to share your work with the rest of our community. Thank you once again, and we hope to see you in store soon. Bye.